A former corrections officer at OCCC has been sentenced to more than three years in prison for smuggling meth into a jail. Richard Asensio worked at the Kalihi facility for 20 years before he was arrested in 2020. Court documents say that he was caught with 11 packets of meth in a backpack. He pleaded guilty last September. An Oahu hiking group is trying to get Google to remove a dangerous Nu'uanu hike from its maps. This after a 34-year-old California visitor, Ian Snyder, fell 1,000 feet from the Ko'olau Summit Trail near the Pali Notches Trail in Nu'uanu. He was missing for three days before first responders found him. Snyder was alone and would have had to scale down the sheer cliff with ropes, but he didn't make it and he fell. He says he used Google Maps and did not realize the trail was so treacherous. Here's the silly part. Here's the, here's the silly or dumb part. It depends what you want to say. Um, I'm trusting Google to give, me, to give me the hiking plan. That is extremely hard and people are, you know, trust these sites to, hey, they're giving me a walking map route that, you know, and they'll just follow it, you know, trusting that, that they'll come out okay. But I think they, it's a very big risk that they're taking. It, it could potentially kill somebody. The group, the Oahu Hiking Community, says it wants Google to remove the trail from the map or at least have it come with a warning of some sort. That group recommends using the All Trails app instead so that hikers can see the difficulty of the trail. There are three new murals at Nanakuli High School that are urging people to drive sober and pay attention behind the wheel. The paintings were unveiled yesterday by HPD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, and Ed Werner, whose son, Kalana was killed by a drunk driver in 2016 just down the road on Farrington Highway. Artist Ken Nishimura worked with students to create the murals as part of the state's Drive with Aloha program. At least three more are planned for next year. Drivers are going to be forced to slow down on Oahu's North Shore starting later this month. There are five speed tables that are going in on Kamehameha Highway near Kualoa Ranch. Five more are going to be installed on the highway near Gunstock Ranch in Kahuku. And three speed hubs are going in on Palalea Street near Kahuku Elementary School. The seven-day forecast, 15 to 30 mile per hour winds today. Those gusts could be up to 40 miles per hour in some places. Once again, Hawaii Island, you've got a different forecast. You're going to have that rain and wind associated with that cold front. Friday, those winds are still going to be gusty. Saturday and Sunday, we fall into more trade wind, typical weather. And then we have the possibility of some rain and also those winds coming back up as we reach Tuesday and Wednesday. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.